For the next 24 hours, we're gonna be staying on our brand new houseboat, which we have deemed the Catch and Cook Cabin, or the Jig Crib. We haven't really decided on a name yet. Go down. It's the new one, guys, so don't judge us here. If you guys saw our last episode, you know we did a basic remodel of the inside, basically making this thing feel like home sweet home and allow us to do the dirtiest, nastiest, well, I mean, probably they are gonna be the dirtiest, nastiest, grossest catch and cooks because I just don't know how to cook, but they could be the best catch and cooks of all time. Seriously, we have everything to cook any type of fish in there. And if you missed the first episode, I think you should go watch it, but if not, let me just give you a quick little tour. Here she is. She's home sweet home now. She is prepared to travel. Normally we have the chairs and the table out, but check this out right here. Inside, we've got all this room. We actually have four beds here. We have a freaking Guggen bait wall up top. We also got lights. It was a little dark in here. And we actually have an entertainment center. It all works. We've got AC, everything you freaking need in here. We've got refrigerators, freezers. We've got microwaves, ovens. We've got frying stations, vacuum sealers. We've got all of our gear up there. And outside, we even have a bathroom in here and a nice hot water shower that runs off water, fresh water from the bottom of the houseboat. So it has its own clean water integrated system or you could use lake water or spring water if you're on a spring. This thing is freaking cool and we're gonna be spending our very first night out here for 24 hours. It's me, the Nautical Bros and my golden retriever, a menace to society reef to finally break this thing in. It's gonna be freaking awesome. We're at the boat ramp, but the trees are so big that we have to have Corey cut them because we can't even get the houseboat in here. All right, we're doing it. We're gonna go back or down into the, oh my God, the water. Got the old generator running. AC is freaking ice cold. It does say we need to clean the filter. Golly, son, we're moving quick. All right, we're driving a houseboat. We're doing houseboat things. This is always so weird. Wow, I got her up full speed here. She does move, I will say that. I'm currently the only one on the, the houseboat right now. There's some technical difficulties. The technical difficulty is the wind is howling, son. And I am like, I don't know if you can see where this pole is, like it's just moving. The wind is blowing me. So I have the motor on because I have to keep moving around. But this thing is like a certified parachute in the wind here. So I had to get away from the boat ramp. We actually have the jet boat. It's gonna be coming out and that is gonna be our ability to fish and bow fish tonight. We're basically using the houseboat as a hotel on the water, if that makes sense. But I forgot my, my phone and the keys to the jet boat, so now I'm just out here stranded. I don't even know how we're gonna get this back on the boat ramp, but either way, I'm in the houseboat, baby. <sighs> that two stroke. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to put a four stroke motor on this because the freaking fumes in here, <coughs> it's strong. By the way, we're gonna have three dudes and a dog sleeping in here tonight, and I think I'm definitely picking the bass bed. I'm claiming, claiming the bass bed is mine. All right, come on, Reed. There you go, buddy. We got the houseboat anchored. We finally got the jet boat tied up to the front of the houseboat. Now, you might be wondering, why the heck you guys need two boats? Well, here's the deal. The houseboat is not very freaking nimble. Come on, Reed. Let's go with it. There you go, kid. The houseboat is not very nimble at all. So once we got the houseboat anchored, this is what we're gonna use to fish. We're gonna use this to bow fish tonight. This is like our go get a mobile. Kind of reminds me a little bit like when I went to the Amazon and we had the mothership and then we had the, the day boats. So this is our mothership. There's where we're sleeping, cooking, hanging out. And this is our go get a mobile. So that's kind of the process. And I think that's what we're gonna have to do moving forward when we're out in the ocean, have the Coast Guard boat be our go-to vessel and then this be the houseboat so i don't know i think that's the deal so we finally got the houseboat all settled in we're chilling but as you guys know it's the catch and cook cabin which means we got to catch some freaking fish 
and we have a sponsor of today's video that's gonna help us do that. Surprise, surprise, boys. I got you all a gift because the sponsor of today's video is Shady Race, and I actually don't know who has what, so. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I got the wild ones. Oh man, oh, Reef wants them. Reef, you want them, buddy? Here you go, you want them? Like, Reef likes them, he likes them, dude. Oh, what's up, buddy, he likes them. Dude, he's like, man. Shady Ray is an independent sunglass company that offers high quality eyewear at a fraction of the price that you'd expect to pay. Shady Ray sunglasses feature durable frames, clear optics for all of life's outdoor activities, including catching those big old large mouth bass. Shady Rays protects your eyes from the sun with premium polarized lenses that are built to last. Shady Rays backs every pair of their industry leading lost and broken replacement program. If you lose or break a pair, even on day one, they'll send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. As you guys know, today we're on the Catch and Cook cabin, but you normally see me underwater treasure hunting and you know I find a ton of sunglasses. It's one of the most common things that we find. But with the replacement program, if you were to lose your sunglasses and me find them underwater, you could actually go through their return program and get a brand new pair. If you're not satisfied with your Shady Rays, you can exchange them for a new pair, return them for free within 30 days. With every order, the Shady Rays Impact Program works with nonprofits worldwide to make an impact on the lives of children and young adults like building play sets for pediatric care patients and creating adventures for young adults with cancer and MS. You and Shady Rays are making an impact together. Right now, when you buy one pair of Shady Rays, you'll get a second pair for free. Go to ShadyRays.com slash Jiggin and use code Jiggin. Thank you, Shady Rays, for sponsoring today's video and seriously helping me and my friends look cool and actually be able to see through the water while we're fishing with these polarized lenses. Oh, you're the first going to the bay wall. Right. What do you want? Oh, that's my favorite, dude. Look at this, yeah. look at this. So this is a brand new bait by Guggen Baits. So electric shad, it's the happy trailer. This color is crazy. What else dude, you get? Oh, flaming Hot. Flamin' Hot. That's pretty good. It, flamin' Hot's one of my favorites yeah. too. But either way, we're getting set up. We got our baits from our bait wall. Good point, Trav, that's good stuff. And Cor <laughs> look at Reef, Reef's trying to freaking eat baits. But uh, Corey and BJ are already. Hey, we uh, made a pit stop at the old bait shop inside. We, we got some uh, happy trailers and whatnot. So did get them electric? Buffers? We did, we did, electric good shad. Call, I know, call. I know. We got our baits from inside the bait shop of the house. Now it's time to hop on the jet boat and see if we can catch a fish, even if we catch a little bass. It's gonna be the first victim of the Catch and Cook cabin. Let's get it. Oh, Reef, um, you, you got come, come on, man, that was a powerful speech. You just hopped off the board. <laughs> We're gonna be fishing the grass. I've got the old Guggen frog on. You've got a dart on. You've got a Mondo worm on. Everybody's got their shady rays on. They're actually sick because they are uh, polarized, so they're actually gonna work for today. No way! No way! Good one? Yes, perfect eater! Perfect eater! That's our catch and cook victory! That, by the way, is reef tax. Anytime you catch a fish, you gotta, gotta pay your taxes because I don't know what it is. Ever since he was a little, little kid, dude. He just <laughs> what did you teach us, dog, to do? That, that honestly, <laughs> honest to God, that is a perfect cat, or that is a perfect eater right there. All right, Mondo Worms to move. Well, that is funny because I literally just grabbed the Mondo Worms. We are definitely gonna have to restock the old houseboat. We're gonna have to put some Mondo ones in there. Freaking finally on with the sprayed lettuce Mondo. She's ready to rock and roll now, boys. It's the big fish catcher. Oh, now we're fishing, baby. Most people drink beers when they're fishing, but I'm still stuck in my 12 year old era and I'm drinking Red Bull. <laughs> Trav is on. Trav. You got one? A good one? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. All right, oh, oh, okay, that's a good one. The old reef tax, man, just always. Oh my God, I have a fish this whole time. Oh my God, I had a fish this whole time. I was like trying to get off of them. I had a fish the whole time, the whole time. I had a fish, I was, I was, I was stuck, I thought I was stuck on grass. Should have set the hook, dude. Jeez. Woo! Home sweet home. We wanted to do a little bit of catch and cook action before the sun goes down, so we're gonna let the boys fish. Yo, y'all enjoy it. Yes, sir. Feel free to use whatever on the boat. We're gonna make a nice little bass appetizer for the boys. Hey, if y'all catch a monster, let me know. We're not. Right. This is gonna be the only one we keep, but I can't wait to hear. So there are big ones in there. Just like around the time they start biting. You guys know the first thing that we got to do on the houseboat is the old recipe, the Uncle Bucks, Frank Red Hot. Unfortunately, 
we don't have any Frank's Red Hot. But we do have Cholula and it's a little bit, you'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and do our fillet knife kit here. So we've got this set up. We are gonna need this stuff here. So Uncle Bucks, we'll pull this guy out, crack him open. What do you think we treat the boys with? Hot and spicy? We always do hot and spicy. Let's try, let's actually try this. Light and crispy. We've never used light and crispy before. I feel like with bass, light and crispy could, could be nice. Put that back and then we had some, we don't have Frank's Red Hot. We're gonna pick that up, we forgot, I mean, the heck. But we've got our batter box. I don't know if you guys remembered us picking this up. This is actually really cool. We never used this before. So we've got the better breader. So we gotta figure out how to use that. And we don't have Frank's Red Hot, but we do have Cholula Chili Garlic. And I like the sound of that. Chili Garlic sounds like it's gonna be fire. So get set up here with this. This is the coolest part here. So inside of here, we actually have our fryer. Now we can pull this baby out. And this is what is gonna set apart our catch and cooks here. It's gonna be game changer. I've never had one of these. This is gonna be amazing. Just did this today. I'm very proud of this, by the way. Whenever you fry anything, you wanna grab some paper towels. Look at this ingenuity. Put the paper towels here, rip what you need, boom, stays there. Like, that was amazing. It's, it's a paper towel, it's, I redneck engineered it, but it works. Also, just wanna take a second, look at this waterfront view. Like, this is the coolest freaking thing ever. We got our fillets sitting on ice. They look freaking beautiful, man. They're so nice. Here we go. This is a new one, guys, so don't judge us here. Uncle Bucks, fish batter, light and crispy. We're gonna go ahead, pop the top on this bad boy. Oh yeah, that's fresh. Oh wow, that's a different, I have not, we haven't seen this texture yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, all right, seriously, that's a little, that got a little out of hand. Corey and BJ, they're ripping on the bass boat right now. And we've got some bass nuggets we're getting prepared for them. It's been a process, man. we freaking anchors are breaking on the boat. Our water system, we have a leak in our shower. Corey will probably fix that. It was, we just put a new water heater in. So we're figuring life out. But as long as we get this oil hot, don't burn the boat down. And we get this batter shaken up on this Cholula bass. I think it's going to be great. Dude, definitely could make the sickest onion ring so in this you really could all right let's take a gander no that looks good that second round looks that looks much better so our generator just got super quiet i was like what the heck i was like man some power went out somewhere but it says it's ready on our fryers i that is hard to believe 355 degrees let's see if i bump it up a little bit if it's it's lit green dude i'm not tripping that is lit green fryer is sick though 60 bucks this thing i would have bought this like years ago if i know take this baby off drop her down oh my gosh give her a shake you said and this is the style where if they float they're done the catch and cook cabin baby the catch and cook cabin all right be careful near the grease it smells good okay easy easy Reed. we got hot grease we got hot grease here. okay easy dude they might be done take a look at this i think they're done they look like they're doing a little float action are you ready for me to pull them up and out Woo! buddy look at the pop look at the pop just a little pop yeah i'm gonna let those rest right there i hope Corey and bj are whacking them but even if they aren't we've got a nice meal for when they come back in get these babies Look at these golden crispies, dude. The Cholula, that's new. The light and crispy, that's new. It has, smell this, Travis. What is that? It has a, a similar smell. I just can't put my finger on it. I feel it looks and see if it was cooked. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know what bass traditionally tastes like but this just tastes like good old fish dude so there's absolutely nothing wrong with this 
The light and crispy, we've never done before, and I think it's a good move. We do not have any hint of hot sauce. We lost the hot sauce completely, but the light and crispy, it just gives you a nice little, like, peppery taste. Take a gander on that. Is it good? That's his first time eating bass, too. It's amazing. It just, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's, That's perfect. it's doing its thing, you know? It's a, it's a nice little crispity crunch. Fully cooked through. Light, it's a light. bass, dude. These are like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a bass. Like, there's nobody out here eating bass. No, that's good. <laughs> but, you know, this is just an appetizer. We wanted to break in the catch and cook. BJ, thank God you uh, got that fish for us. But we are not only eating bass tonight. We're going to make a gourmet meal on the catch and cook cabin as well. So, enjoy it, boys. Thanks. Get fueled up. Get the power of the bass. Go catch more fish. This is like the time where I catch hey, big ones. This right here. Right this right here was doing. <laughs> it was doing this probably about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> no, honest to God, I was talking about that too. Like, the fish doesn't really get much fresher than that. Like, no. it it hit the grease fast. <laughs> well, thank you for the dinner, bro. Hey, thank you for catching it. It's like I I obviously couldn't set the hook on anything. We're getting set up for dinner now, boy. We are, we are. While we are in the catch and cook cabin, we had a bass appetizer. So we had a little bass for an appetizer. But we figured if we're gonna break it in proper, we gotta have like a really good solid meal. Now I'm a terrible cook. Being the fact that I now have a catch and cook cabin, I probably ought to step up my cooking game. But BJ and Corey know how to throw down. So what's on the menu tonight, Chef? Uh, we're gonna make some steak quesadillas. Ooh. Uh, pico de gallo and uh, some fresh tomatillo salsa. Sheesh. Look, look, you already know the little food dragons over here, bro. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're yeah waiting. man. I was actually editing while you were getting some supplies, so I got some editing done. Dog was passed out. He is so tired, but he's only up because there's like steaks on the table over there. So. <laughs> he can hear it so bad. Oh, yeah, dude. He, knows, sitting right right here. Here. he knows the deal. He knows the deal, man. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're gonna get a nice little meal and uh, we're gonna turn the old TV on, hang out. We we did have one tiny mistake, and uh, you know, being that we're in Florida on the swamp, you, you typically can't have the door open. I don't know what's going on here. You can have the door open on this side, but on this side of the boat, where the bathroom and the hot shower and our big garbage can is, when you open the door there, th these guys just fly in. I, they're uh, well, they're they're all over the walls now. I, I don't, I don't, I really don't know what happened here. So we have a, uh, we we do have some bug intruders, but don't you worry, cause we got our salt blaster 3000 to blast those freaking bugs down. But I mean, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna need a lot of salt if we're gonna try to take. We'll just I mean, set the stakes here and yeah. start blasting. Dude, I mean, we're gonna need freaking like at least ten more of these. And a couple more guys to take out the fleet of no CMs that we got in here. I mean, it's, it's just luckily they just stick to the wall. They don't bite or anything, but it is gross. Watching every piece of meat. Oh, oh yeah. Watch his gosh. head turn. When you put it in the pot, his head turns, bro. Oh my gosh. Watch this. Watch this. Look, look, look. Watch the head turn. <laughs> All right. Commence the time lapse of BJ cooking and me observing and just trying to. Wish to be a good cook one day. Uh, roasted tomatillo verde salsa. Okay, I'm ready. I don't know what any of that is, but I'm excited for it. All right, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> bro, What's in there, bro? You would think, you would think I literally never fed this kid, bro. <laughs> oh, now that looks like salsa. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing it now. I'm tracking. Yeah. We ate almost all our freaking salsas with the <laughs> chips, but we oh my gosh, dude, look at that freaking thing, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the strings. That's money. All right, I'm just gonna follow y'all's lead, dude. Y'all have, uh, y'all have led us to greatness so far. 
I don't even think I'm gonna cut mine with slices. I'm just gonna yeah, eat mine, mine like a cheeseburger, dude. <laughs> Do what your heart desires. Yeah, dude, we're breaking in the boat. Something serious, man. Breaking her in. Oh, oh, what a pour. What a pour, this guy. That was almost professional right there, Corey. Shoot. Oh, shoot, boy. Oh, my gosh. Dude, it's crazy how sour cream just makes something come to life. Look, that looks like a W to me, son. That's a win right there, boys. I'd say so. All right, we're going to go ahead, close these babies up. Oh, yeah. Eat I'm our dinner. Excited. We deserve this. This is a massive W. Or it, this way, it kind of looks like an M for me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. My bass appetizer had nothing on this. This is real food right here. The ultimate catch and cook cabin has officially been established. Wow. We gotta start catching cows because this steak is awesome. <laughs> I heard a turkey gobbling over there earlier. We could do a turkey catch and cook. We already did quail. There are some ducks out here. They'll be slacking sometime. Right. Reef's in bed. I'm uh I'm about to be passed out. It's time to freaking go to sleep. What a day. All right, I'm about to I'm about to pass out. I already fell asleep in a chair outside, so I know I'm about to sleep good. Oh, Reef's attacking BJ now. <laughs> dude, I honestly thought we was gonna be toes to toes, but you're like way the hell over oh, there, dude. There's way more room. Way more room. All right, good night, everybody. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. I gotta move to the gotta be the coolest shower I've ever taken in my life. Look at this. I gotta show you guys this. Water. The water is 108 degrees. How amazing is that? Good morning, boys. Good morning. Good morning. Honestly. Let me tell you guys. Shower, like almost mandatory for a refreshment. Yeah. Like so nice, hot water was sick. Got my OJ. I'm still full from last night. I am still I'm stuffed. Yeah, I am still, still, stuffed. still stuffed, right? You? Yeah, both of us are sitting here like, man, I, I, I'd like to eat breakfast, but I'm still full. <laughs> I know it. I think the only one who like really wants breakfast is this guy right here. He's like, he's, he he's, he's about it, so. It's funny though, because we were just talking about it. We were like, man, waking up, feel good, but you walk out here, I want to jump in the water. <laughs> like, go in the wiki, being able to just wake up, walk out, and just dive off the front, is, yeah. it's going to be a game changer. It's like, you want you want a bit of house with your pool, Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you want to go from the, from the house to the pool. Dude, I feel great. Like, I swear to God, like I just had the best shower of my life. By the way, that water heater is like game changer. I was watching it and I was like, oh, the screen doesn't work. I want to know the temp. And then uh, as soon as you press the water, it reads the temp. It's yeah. like 102 degrees, like perfect. It's like, oh, oh good, dude. so good. Dude, money, money. So cool. We got the truck backing up. We got the winch meeting up with the boat. It's well thought out. <laughs> so, <clears throat> had an awesome time. It's been about three days since the footage you guys just watched. Turns out the boat had potentially a little bit of strep throat in it. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I'm on the back end of it now. 
I was really, really bad. I was like bedridden for a couple days, but either way, um, we've got some exciting news. We've got the houseboat parked up. We've got the AC plugged in. She's going to be running nice and cool. And, um, it was a lot of fun. I think on water, absolute success. I think the way we talked about using it is exactly right. You want to use this as a water hotel. It's not super nimble. So you just want to park it, let it be, let it do its thing. But right now we have Corey. He's over on the Coast Guard boat. He's getting everything prepped up there. I actually have to run down to the Keys today because for the next few days, I'm going to be filming the Weather Channel stuff. You guys know I have a TV show with the Weather Channel. It's going to be coming out in June, I believe June 18th now. Um, so we're going to be doing some stuff um, on TV. It's going to be really cool. And you guys haven't actually seen the Coast Guard boat yet. I got to present that and show you. It's all done, um, but we're going to be using it for the show, which is going to be really cool. So either way, we've got a bunch of vessels um, that are doing <coughs> some really cool, fun stuff. And they're all kind of different. How do I feel about a floating tiny home, the catch and cook cabin? I think it's absolutely sick. I think as we continue to grow with it, I think we're going to put a lot more cool stuff inside of it. I think there's a lot of customization to do. I know for sure. I definitely want to do something with the outside of the houseboat. I want to make it, I don't know, like like more cabin vibes. But either way, I hope you guys like this. If you want to see more of the catch and cook cabin or the jig crib, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have some really unique names, let me know that as well. I'm open to all names. With that being said, it's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. I've got to go get to work on the Coast Guard boat, take <coughs> some medicine, and go down to the Florida Keys. I love you. I'll see you uh, soon. Bye.